Base is Krim. Second base is Lupercio. Shortstop Morris. Third base is Schnittiger. Swung on. Foul tipped into the mitt by Sonke. One and one. Swung over the top. Uh, looked to be a little slider. So 1-1, one, one, Grant Sonke leading off the top of the first. 1-1, one, one, strike call. Same pitch, slider, outside corner. Got the call about waist high. So Grant's down 1-2. and two. Oberg into the full windup. Fires, down and away. Hits the dirt, bangs off the backstop, and we're even at 2-2. Two and two. The outfield for Waterford in um, left field is Flores, center field Martinez, and in right field Love. Okay, the 2 2 pitch. Swung on line drive towards center field and drops. Base hit for Grant Sonke. Barreled that one up quite nicely. And the 2023. California State leader in run scored, Grant Sonke is on. We should see the Knights running game started immediately. We want to test the stats on uh, the catcher, Bailey, who supposedly has thrown out all 18 base runners that have tried to steal this year. First pitch caught the inside corner to Josh Buffalo. Would like to get a little backup slider or two-seamer. Thanks, man. Sonke getting a good lead, edging off. Ober looks over the shoulder, into the stretch. Throw to the plate. Sonke goes. Throw down to second. Is not in. They call him out. Oh, Grant. They said Grant came off the bag. The signal that Grant came off the bag. So. He didn't go off the bag. He's sitting on the bag. Out number one. Is registered by the uh, base umpire at second base. Uh, stolen base attempt. Pitch pop, foul, and out of play. That was a bad call. He was, he was nowhere off the wing, like sitting on the bag. Pitch inside. Popped up right over the catcher. Bailey waiting, goes back and fair loses ball. in the ball's in fair territory. It's a base hit on a ball five feet in front of the plate that died. So definite sun problems for Matthew Bailey, the catcher there. You could see him uh, lose it over seated 40, 50 feet behind home plate, a little bit off to the right, and uh, we're kind of looking face to face with Bailey as he lost the ball. So David Coolhouse steps in, run around first, one out, pitch, up and away, ball one to squish. Runner goes, throw down a second. And that was courtesy runner Ricky Van Unen, who stole second with a slide and stayed on the bag. Okay. Pitch to cool house. Swung on. Pop fly. Short right center. Caught by the center fielder. Van Unen stays anchored on second base. So two out. Runner at second. And Caden uh, Anderson will be the batter. Luke Cravello, today's starting pitcher, will be on deck.
Caden ground ball. Pass the third baseman down the left field line. Van Unen's going to score easily. The ball will roll to the wall. Anderson to second. Takes a short turn and stays there. The ball got under the glove of the third baseman. He never touched it. So stand up double for KJ. And the Knights lead 1 0. So Cravello trying to help himself with two out and another run at second base. Takes a pitch outside for ball one. So Anderson at second. Second baseman holding him very close and now backs off, goes back to his position. The shortstop moves in. Pitcher looks and throws the plate. Down and away. Off the catcher. Bounds away. Anderson rounds third and holds as a catcher Bailey retrieves the ball and tosses it on a bounce back to his starting pitcher Oberg. Hey, drive me in right here. Expect something good right here. Tons of room from uh, home plate to the backstop here at Modesto High. And so anything in the dirt is uh, big trouble for the catcher. All right, Oberg with a 1 0. Another one in the dirt, all the way back here in front of me. And Anderson scores standing up with back-to-back -back wild pitches to make it 2 nothing. The state rankings for the two teams, Griffin Christian, number 585 overall, Waterford. Number 1,137. So Luke takes strike one called, letter high. Okay, 2 1. Swung on. High in the air towards center. It's in no man's land and drops. So the second pop fly single for the Knights in this first inning. They're getting some good luck, and they're taking advantage of the breaks. Dustin Hookstra will be the batter. Two out, and we will probably see Cravello go on the first pitch. Leads off, pickoff move. Luke dives back in. Okay, Cravello leads off out of the stretch. Oberg throws. Cravello goes. Throw down to second is high, and another stolen base. Yes. Courtesy runner. I uh, was going to be in for Cravello since he's the pitcher. And um, looks like Jordan Luisi, which is a good choice. Jordan's one of the fastest players on the team. So Luisi leads off second. Shortstop moves in behind him. Oberg looks but throws the plate again inside. Uh, to Hoekstra, kind of two and zero, oh, I believe. Noah DeBrine on deck. The pickoff move to second, back in on his stomach is Luisi. All right, Oberg out of the stretch. Luisi leading off the pitch. Outside corner, strike. Yep. The count goes to two and one. Dustin Hookstra looking to uh, add an RBI to his total. About what? No. 
Oh, you hit two. Up on the left bicep. And Noah DeBrine will be the batter. And that being the case, I'd like to give a shout out to the students in Mr. DeBrine's class in Manteca at Warren Woodward Elementary School. And boys and girls, this is for you. Go Mustangs. We'll see what Noah does. First pitch is a strike call. Got the outside part of the plate uh, about belt high, maybe a little higher. So DeBrine back in. Luisia first. Hooks draw. Look at line drive off the third baseman's glove. That's going to be bases loaded, two out. Line drive single. By DeBrine, he ripped it to third baseman Leap, tried to backhand it, it hit the top of his glove and fell at his feet. And the speedy Luisi was in. So Luisi at third, Hooks at second, DeBrine at first, and Josh Cravello will be the batter. Josh's on base percentage yesterday was a thousand. So the pitch outside, ball one. Two nothing Knights, top of the first. Taking advantage of a couple good good breaks. Putting the ball in play. All right, pitch to Cabello. Down in the dirt, backhanded nicely by Bailey, the catcher. Two and up. Runners lead off. 2-0 pitch. Swung on foul straight back. Josh had a nice cut. Just missed it. Logan Sauer on deck retrieves the uh, foul ball. So 1-1, Josh Cabello. Oberg winds and throws. Up and away, ball two. Josh looking at uh, Coach DeVisser for signs down at third, and uh, Coach has told him to be aggressive. Look for a strike. 2-1 pitch. Down in the dirt. Knocked down. That was the 3-1 pitch at ball four. So RBI for Josh Cravello. He's on base again. And uh, score mounts. RC3, water for nothing. We have a visit on the mound uh, for Waterford. It's interesting. Each time the Knights got a runner at second base, the second baseman and shortstop were working hard, uh, jockeying in, jabbing in towards second and then back their position and trading off. And uh, pitcher Oberg would look and never did throw. And a couple times when Jordan Luisi was uh, on base, it looked like the uh, fielder was standing on the bag with Jordan about 10 feet off the bag, and Oberg still never threw. So the uh, coach is done counseling the pitcher and catcher. And uh, we'll be back action as soon as he reaches the dugout which is right now so again base is loaded three nothing ripping christian logan sour the batter two out pitch swung on a miss strike one oberg into the windup and throws swung on a miss strike two Logan has not been within a foot of either of those pitches. Doesn't shorten up at all. Down at the end of the bat. The 0-2. Swung on a miss. Strike three. The ball is in the dirt, but retrieved by Bailey, who tags the incoming hook shift for out number three. So, the Knights score three. And score at the end of a half inning is Rippin' Christian three and... 
Waterford come into bat. Thank you for tuning in to this live audio broadcast. If you paid to listen to this event or you plan to, we know our broadcasters greatly appreciate that. It may pay for some gas, a hot dog at halftime, and just for their time, providing a great service for those who cannot attend or watch. We're nothing without our broadcasters. So thank you from all of us at Game Mike. The fall season is here, and Game Mike is your source for live audio. Together with MaxPreps.com, we'll be live from high school events all across the country. From the biggest football games, to action on the volleyball court, to flag football. We have your... Cravella on the mound, stake to a 3 nothing lead, and uh, the shortstop Morris, Nathan Morris, sophomore, leading off for Waterford. The first pitch, swung on, foul tip off the umpire, plate umpire. Looks like the right shoulder. Uh, Josh Buffalo asks about his health. He pats Josh on the top of the helmet, says, I'm fine. I did see him flex that arm a couple times, though. So 0-1 count to Morris. Luke Cravello in his windup and throws up and away. Fastball one and one. Third baseman Sonke off the bag, third near the front edge of the dirt. Fastball outside, ball two. So two and one to the smallish Nathan Morris. Right hand hitter. All right, the 2-1 pitch. There's a fastball strike. Backhanded and framed by Buffalo very nicely. So 2-2 two two to Nathan Morris, the 2-2 two two pitch. Swung on. Cued into the uh, River Christian dugout. Tremendous agility by Coach John DeVisser. Jumped high in the air and dodged that bullet. All right, count remains two and two. Luke Cravello steps back and fires up and in. So full, Get him right here. full count to leadoff hitter Nathan Morris. A three-nothing lead. Let's go after him. Fastball swung on and missed. Strike three and go after him. He did. With Luke's stuff, he can afford to not be picky. So the third baseman, number six, Alex Flores. Everyone, focus up. Another every sophomore. Pitch, every pitch matters. Left hand batter. Up close to the plate, steps in, and the first pitch from Cravello. Fastball on the inside corner, strike one. So Logan Sauer being moved by the defensive uh, instructions of Coach DeVisser. Ball one outside gets away. So the count of one and one to Flores. The pitch swung on and missed. Strike two. That one was by him. So one out. Nobody on. Bottom of the first. 
the uh, one-two pitch to Flores. Hold on, fouled off. We got a piece of it, spoiled it. Alex Flores, left-hand hitter, kind of stock, stockily built. Steps in, and the pitch. Foul tipped again. So. Over there. Foul ball. <laughs> Nobody for Waterford volunteered to come get that ball. So the batter himself had to go shag it and give it to the home plate on. Pitch. Nice Outside ball two. So two and two to Alex Flores. Not impressed with the Waterford's game day presentation so far. For one thing, they have the wrong uniform. They know they're the home team and they're wearing road colors, which, by the way, coincide with Griffin Christian's road colors because they are the road team. Seriously. All right, Cavello. Pitch. Strike three, call right down Broadway. Nice. Flip it around the infield, back to Luke. Two out, nobody on. And the third place hitter is the catcher, Matthew Bailey. First pitch fouled off right back to the backstop on the ground. Got a little piece of it. Right hand hitting Bailey. As a junior. Corello starts to wind up and then uh, stops himself. I think it's get a better toe hold on the rubber. There he is. The 01. Breaking ball did not break. Hung up outside. Count goes to 101. One one pitch. Foul back off the backstop. One ball, two strikes, two out, nobody on, three nothing, Ripper Christian in the bottom of the first. Waterford's Matthew Bailey at the plate. Luke Cravello rocks and throws the one two down in the dirt. He has a knuckle curve, which I believe is what that one was. Just kind of overcooked it a little bit. So two and two. Two two pitch. Line drive up the middle and a base hit. So good job by Bailey. Fouling one off. And uh, Waterford has their first runner. So the cleanup hitter is center fielder Brian Martinez. He's a freshman. He's a tall freshman. From a distance, you see the size. You think he's an upperclassman, but a freshman. We're in lucky number 13. We'll see. So Bailey, short lead off first. Cravello throws, breaking ball, nice pitch. A little slider, outside corner. Perfect spot, nothing that uh, Martinez could do with that. Again, the short lead, again the pitch. Down and away, ball one, one and one. Luke throwing his 21st pitch right now. He's 13 strikes. Pitch swung on ground and back to the box. Corello grabs it, throws to first, and the inning is over. Real nice job by Luke to uh, hold him after a three-run top of the first. So after one, it's uh, Ripping Christian three, the Waterford Wildcats zero.
Grant Sonke will lead off again. He led off the first inning. Started off a uh, three-run rally. And he'll be leading off the second against James Oberg, the uh, senior starting pitcher for Waterford. Oberg rocks into the windup and throws. First pitch gets a strike called in the outside corner for 0-1. Waterford defense playing straight away all the way around. Strike two call. Basically the same spot. Outside corner. Waist high. So Sonke down 0-2 looking. Go to pitch. Breaking ball hung inside. Framed by Bailey, but could not help it. That was the ball. One-two pitch, high and inside, ball two. That's some fun right here, kid. Okay, two-two pitch. James Oberg fires in the dirt. Knocked down by Bailey. Scooter to his right and use the chest protector. Pitch outside for ball four, and Grant's on again. And you know what that means. The uh, Max Prep stat sheet had Matthew Bailey as a perfect 18 for 18, throwing out base runners. Coming into today's game, he's now 18 for 20. As the first two nights stole second fairly easily. All right, Sonky goes. Pitch is taken for a strike. The throw down a second in the dirt. And another stolen base for Grant Sonky. For a catcher, that was a perfect pitch to throw off of. He was, he was able to stand, catch it just high and fire in one motion. But uh, A, a great jump by Sonky. B, a great base runner is Sonky. And C, not a good throw. Okay. Pitch the buffalo. Did it get him? It grazed his helmet. And the Knights are at it again. We may have a pitching change. Uh, head coach Eric Martinez striding out to the mound. And we'll be back in 30 seconds. The fall season is here, and Game Mike is your source for live audio. Together with MaxPreps.com, we'll be live from high school events all across the country. From the biggest football games, to action on the volleyball court, to flag football. We have your audio needs covered. Broadcasters out there, download Game Mike today and let your voice be heard. So, back in Modesto High, the conference is over. Oberg's still in. And Coach DeBisher shouts, all right, Barrels, let's go. Davy Barrels, David Coolhouse. Into the batter's box, two on, none out. Top of the first, the night, the second. The Knights already lead. Three nothing. Swung on and missed a slow breaking pitch by Oberg. They got uh, David out in front. And swung right over the top of it. So 0-1 to Cool House. Yeah. Pickoff move to second. Good move, but it hit Sonky on the uh, back of the right thigh. So Oberg did uh, offer the pickoff move. The shortstop moved in. Now the second baseman is standing on the bag. Sonky 
Widening his lead, the shortstop moves in behind, but the pitch comes to the plate. Swung on grounded foul toward the dugout and out of play up the third base line where Waterford sits today. So O2 count. Nobody out in the top of the second. Sankey on second. Buffalo on first for the night. Cool house at the plate. James Oberg out of the stretch, looks back and fires. Swung on, grounded to third, oh, fielded. Fair ball, and a step on third for the force out. So uh, Schnediger, Daniel Schnediger, the third baseman, fielded it with his right foot in foul territory, but the ball right at the bag. Just stepped on the bag with his left foot and got the force out. So one out. Still two on, and Caden Anderson steps to the plate. KJ, first pitch to Anderson. Oberg out of the stretch, throws, turns to bunt. Ball over his head is knocked down by Matthew Bailey, the catcher. All right, Anderson waiting. Ober looks to the runner, and turns and throws. Ricky Van Unen, courtesy runner at second, was literally six inches off the bag when he threw. So, needless to say, safe pitch. Turns to bunt. Once in front of the plate, it hit. Caden Anderson in the batter's box, so just a strike. Must have got Caden uh, down on the foot, ankle area. Kind of bending over a little bit to let the pain subside. So 1-1 one, one count to KJ. Back in the box and the pitch. Swung on, pop foul, off to the right. And out of play. Caden looking to coach DeVister for his signs. And back in a box. All right. Pitch to Anderson. Swung on, ground to foul again. And down the left field line. Luke Cravello on deck, sitting with a 3-0 lead. Hopes it's a little bit bigger by the time he steps into the batter's box. All right. Wilbert back on top. 1-2 count. And the pitch. Swung on, line drive toward right. That ball's going to drop. Base hit. Runners had to hold. They move up. And here comes Van Unen steaming into the plate for run number four. The throw in, misses the cutoff man, and rolls to the pitcher's mound. Retrieved by uh, the first baseman, Logan Krim. Let's go, Luke. Hey, swing in and drive him in. Let's go. So, Coolhouse moved over to third. And on the throw in, Anderson to second. Luke Cravello up. Only one out. Four nothing, Rip and Christian. First pitch to Luke. Oh, up and in. Started to offer, but the breaking ball did not break enough and stayed out of the strike zone high. So one and zero to Luke Cravello. Runners with short leads. The one zero pitch, pop foul down the left field line. It looks like it will get out of play, and it does. Great hustle by the uh, Waterford Wildcat defense. The third baseman, um, Schnediger, was all the way down the left field line. The left fielder came over from uh, his right spot about 
90 feet off the foul pole and the shortstop. So three of them converged, but that ball dropped out of play. Pitch, down and in. So two, two and one, the count is run. <laughs> All right, out of the stretch, Oberg, the 2 1 pitch, Luke Cravel. Here it is. Swung on, hit high in the air to left field. They'll tag up, coming in left fielder, drops the ball. The throw comes in, the throw comes in, and he's safe. The throw to third, and he's safe. And Cravello moves up to second. So we have uh, an E7. And Dustin Hooks will bat now with men on second and third. And again, courtesy runner for the pitcher. This tournament, pitchers and catchers can be run, run for. And uh, I believe... Oh, here's a pitch to Dustin Hooks, who grounds it to short. Infielder grabs it and throws him out. But the run, Anderson scores. So Jordan Louis, Jordan Louis is the uh, courtesy runner at second for Gravello. So Noah DeBryan batting for the second time here in the second inning. Oberg throws. Noah grounds it to third, fielded by Schnittiger, and he throws him out. Third baseman's done a real nice job with the glove so far for Waterford. But the Knights strike for three more. And after an inning and a half, the lead has blossomed to six, nothing. Go to work, kid. Six zip. Jason had it. Scoreboard's got it, I believe. Not it's that not I can, on. not that I could see it. It's not on. They haven't had it on long at all. This is pre-cataract surgery. It might as well be on, and I, can't, I still can't see it. Yeah. Anyway. They have issues with it every time. It's on. It was on in the other game. Hey, Brian's on. Oh, good. Hi, Brian. Take a moment on game mic to uh, say hi to. A lot of people listening. Steve, Joni Gonzalez, Corinne, Rod Gomes, James Anderson, Shelly Kuhas, Janine Estrada. Hi, Janine. Brian Huckman hey, at Ameriprise. All right, we'll be back in 20 seconds. Thank you for tuning in to this live audio broadcast. If you paid to listen to this event, or you plan to, we know our broadcasters greatly appreciate that. It may pay for some gas, a hot dog at halftime, and just for their time, providing a great service for those who cannot attend or watch. We're nothing without our broadcasters. So thank you from all of us at Game Mike. The fall season is here. So leading off the uh, bottom of the second. Pitch outside for ball one from Luke Corvello to uh, Lupercio. Number nine, ball two, two and oh. Well, not foul straight back. Garcia playing second base today. Two one pitch. Swung on a miss. Strike two. So Luke Cravello out of the abbreviated windup fires. Swung on foul. Down the right field line, racing over Van Unen. Oh. Gave it a good effort. Stabbed at it, but could not make the catch. Right before banging into the uh, barrier. 
Ricky was living up to his nickname of White Lightning there. He was flying over there. All right, back in position. Count remains 2-2. Two, two. Luke Cravello delivers. Swung on a missed breaking ball. Strike three. That one wasn't fair. Beautiful pitch. So one out. Nobody on. In the bottom of any number two, Ripley Christian six, Waterford nothing. So the starting pitcher Oberg steps up to the plate. Pitch from Cabello, fastball right down the pipe, strike one. Luke delivers, strike two. That one was down the middle, but uh, knee high. That was a very wicked pitch to hit. So 0-2 oh to Oberg. No reason to get real cute. See what he goes with. The 0-2, fastball up high. Just got away from a little bit. He was going for the high heat. And it uh, didn't catch the top of the strike zone. So one and two to James Oberg. Luke Cravello winds and delivers. Fastball, strike, three, call. That's good oh. stuff right there. Don't mess around. So Cravello featuring fastball, but moving it around, up, down, in, out. Uh, real good job of pitching there. So two out, nobody on. And the ground ball to the right side, fielded and thrown by Hookstra, and the inning is over. Great job, Luke. So, Krim with the first bit swing. So, the score after two innings, 6 nothing to Rip and Christian. Josh Cravello leading off. Rip and Christian hoping to pad their lead. And uh, best case scenario, score enough to get the 10 run rule in effect and get out of here early. Rest some arms and be ready for Johansson tomorrow afternoon. That'll be a 145 start here at Modesto. We'll be on the air at approximately 1.30. All right, pitcher Cravello swung on, grounded in the hole, fielded by the shortstop, fires across the diamond, but too late. The ball bounces and gets away. So, official score will have to rule that one. I'd give him an infield hit for the difficult play in the, in the hole, but I'm kind of generous on those. Either way, Shua is on first. All right, Logan Sauer trying to make contact. Maybe the bunt will be on. We'll see. Pickoff move. That one gets away, but not far enough for uh, Cravello to advance. Krim races over and gets the ball right in front of the Griffin Christian dugout and returns it to Oberg.
All right. Goldberg back to throw in the dirt. Ball one. So six nothing Ripon Christian. We're in the top of uh, any number three. Nobody out, a man on first. The pitch turns to Bunt. Bunt's it up third base line. Nice Bunt. Deadens it. Oberg fields and throws too late. Logan Sauer boy, Logan. with a Bunt single. He uh, meant it as a sacrifice, and it was a perfect Bunt. So hats off to Logan there, taking advantage of his Bunting skills. And leadoff hitter Grant Sonke. Let off the first inning. He let off the second inning, and now he's batting third in the third inning. Two out, nobody on. Six nothing RC. See if they could put up a cricket number. First pitch. He turns to bunt and fouls. Just got a graze on that ball with his bunt attempt. Off the, uh, I believe, off the umpire again. That's the second time he's got smacked with a foul tip. Walks the ball out to the pitcher. Everybody making sure the uh, ump's got plenty of time to shake that one off. He's back behind the plate and ready to go. So 0-1 to Grant Sonke, two on, nobody out. 6 nothing. Rip and Christian. Top of the third. James Oberg looks to the runner at second, throws the plate, up and away, ball one. So 1-1 one one to Grant. Sauer at first, Josh Cravello at second. Oberg throws. Oh, breaking ball. It was a nice one. It froze Grant and broke right over the inside part of the plate. Strike two. Grant's been now behind in the count more than, uh, than usual this season. All right, one two pitch. Outside, ball two. You can see the uh, wrist motion by the pitcher Oberg from here that was trying to break one off, and that one just hung up. So, two two count. Grant Sonke, the batter. James Oberg out of the stretch, throws the plate, swung on. Back. Line drive to second, and fielded. On the fly uh, by Lupercio for out number one. Grant did not get uh, much of a piece of that one. It was a little humpback liner right to the second baseman. Base runners were alert and uh, held their ground to get back in to the back. So one out and Josh Buffalo up. Shorts up, jockey's in behind, but the pitch comes to the plate. Hold on, foul straight back. Josh kind of looks to the heavens. He figured he had that one in his sights and did not connect. So 0 1 on the foul back to the backstop. <laughs> 0 1 pitch, strike call outside corner. Good pitch. Home plate umpire has been giving that strike all day. So it's 0 and 2. So the Knights uh, leadoff batter and second place batter with two on have uh, both gotten behind. 0 2 and 1 2. Pitch in the dirt. Knocked down by Matthew Bailey. A siren screams down Tuolumne Boulevard. Just keep whoever in your prayers. All right, short lead by the runners. First baseman playing up, third baseman up. Middle infielder back, the pitch. Swung on line in the Got gap. Her, that go. one's going to go. Over. It's up to the wall on the roll. Here comes Cravello scoring. Here comes Sauer scoring. Here comes Buffalo into third oh, with a stand-up triple. Hi, baby Josh. He barreled that one big time.
to one of the deepest parts of the field, right center field, the ball rolled all the way to the wall. So, speaking of the 10 run rule, the Knights have boosted their lead to 8 nothing. Courtesy runner Van Unen takes over for Buffalo at third. Josh appreciates it. He could uh, catch his breath in the dugout for a while. All right, David Coolhouse up the pitch. Outside, ball one. A one out, two runs in to make it eight nothing, ripping Christian. Courtesy runner Van Munen at third. Pitch to Coolhouse up on him. Snag with a leap by Matthew Bailey behind the plate. This count goes to one and one. Ball two. All right, the pitch. Outside Whoa. corner. Strike call. David had taken a half stride toward first out of the batter's box. Turns and pats his chest like my bad to the home plate home. Good presentation there for David. Here's the pitch. It got him right in the back. So, full count pitch was a hit by pitch. And the inning continues. K.J. Anderson has the Knights lead 8 nothing with one out. Really? All right, K.J., ready to go. The pitch. Swung on him, missed, changed speeds, and KJ was way out in front of that one. So cool house, short lead at uh, first base with the first baseman Krim holding him on. Short lead Van Union at third. Pitch, down and away, ball one. One and one to Anderson. Third baseman Schnediger. About 10 feet off the bag and a couple steps back off the uh, inner grass of the infield. All right, Oberg, pitch. Swung on, grounded to short. Fielded, taken in second. Out at second, safe at first. The run scores. Short stop. A heady attempt. Race to the bag to take it himself instead of trying to relay. Um, but the speed of Anderson really paid off. He hit it hard right to the shortstop. The score is now nine to nothing. Uh, Caden Anderson at first, undoubtedly looking to, to go. Luke Cravello steps up. It really helped his cause. The pitch, there goes Anderson, and he comes back. Go to work, kid. So Let's one, go to work. One and oh to uh, Luke Cravello. A breaking ball on the inside that broke down below the knees. Good job by Bailey to snag it and be ready to throw. Uh, as he heard the shout, runner. Okay, next pitch. Good. Swung on, hit high in the air to right field. Walk off for the sun. The center fielder comes over, collides, but holds on to the ball. Uh, the Good lower job, bodies of the left, right fielder and center fielder connected. The center fielder went down but held the ball in his glove for out number three. So, the Knights score for the third inning in a row, three runs, and lead 9 nothing going to the bottom of the third. The fall season is here, and Game Mike is your source for live audio. Together with MaxPreps.com, we'll be live from high school events all across the country. From the biggest football games to action on the volleyball court, to flag football. We have your audio needs covered. Broadcasters out there, download Game Mike today 
and let your voice be heard. So the first pitch for Gravello is swung on and missed by the third baseman Schnedeker. High fastball. Uh, as I mentioned last inning, Luke featuring simple fastball today. You know, one pitch. Again, blew it past him. Swung on and missed. So two fastballs, two, oh, two. swings and misses. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Gravello steps back, gets the sign again. Josh Buffalo setting up inside. The pitch from Luke Cravello. Fastball swung on and missed. Strike three. The old good morning, good afternoon, and good night. So one out, nobody on, Great bottom spot. of the third. Let's go. So Luke Cravello, three fastballs with three different spots. Moving it around. Pitch. Swung on. Hit high in the air. Foul. Right field line and out of play. So Jaden Love playing right field today. Be the batter. The 0 one from Luke Cravello down and away. Ball one. So one and one to Love. Right hand hitter. He's got a white uh, undersleeve under his blue top on the right arm. Strike call, fastball. Outside corner. Luke working quickly, as all the RC pitchers do. Helps the defense stay on their toes. The pitch, breaking ball, swung on and missed, reaching for it. Did not connect. Jaden Love. So two out, nobody on. And shortstop, Nathan Morris. Will be the batter. Just this small sample size of what we've seen with Morris. He does a really good job at shortstop. Takes a fastball outside for ball one and uh, uses his head and hustles. That's all you can ask for. Waterford not having a very good year, but it hasn't stopped him from putting out a 100% ball two in the dirt. So two and oh. Cravello with a 2-0. Fastball swung on and missed. So two and one. It's one of those pitches that's up a little bit, so it looks real big to the batter. They think they can catch up to it, but they can't. Fastball up high, higher than the last one. So the count's run to three and one. Let's go, get focus up right here. One pitch. We have two out, nobody on, and nine-nothing lead. Luke throws. Topped back behind home plate for strike two. Win it here, Lake. One pitch right now. Let's go. Got to get him. So 
A leadoff hitter, Morris, with a full count. Pitch, up and in, ball four. You all right? Got to work harder now. All right, left fielder Alex Flores will bat with a runner on, two out, and bottom of the third. Uh, Left-hand hitter. He's got his cheat sheet wristband on his left hand. The pitch, the runner goes, swung on and missed. Throw down by Buffalo. He's got him by a mile. Fantastic job. He knew the situation. He knew they might run, and he gunned him down. So the inning's over. And after three, it's Rip and Christian nine. Waterford, nothing. Thank you for tuning in to this live audio broadcast. If you paid to listen to this event or you plan to, we know our broadcasters greatly appreciate that. It may pay for some gas, a hot dog at halftime, and just for their time, providing a great service for those who cannot attend or watch. We're nothing without our broadcasters. So thank you from all of us at Game Mike. The fall season is here And Game Mike is your source for live audio. Together with MaxPreps.com, we'll be live from high school events all across the country. From the biggest football games, to action on the volleyball court, to flag football. Justin Hookstra steps in, and we're ready to begin the top of the fourth with Ripper Christian holding a comfortable 9 0 lead, but looking for more. All right, pitch, outside corner, strike one, Oberg still in there. Let's check the box score, see how many pitches young Oberg has thrown so far. It's been a lot. That's 76 pitches, only 44 of them strikes. So. The old one to Hookstra, inside, did you get him? Nope, back to the backstop off the glove of Matthew Bailey. Count even at one and one. No, to Brian on deck immediately sprints over, shag the foul ball. The uh, RC Knights take care of business. All the little details taken care of. All right, pitch, down and away. Ball two. Ober drops and throws. Swan, line drive, center field, base hit. Justin squared that one up pretty well. Dropped it over the bag in center. I mean, directly over the bag. Second base in center field. So, leadoff single for Hookstra. And here comes Noah DeBryan. Ball one low. Looks for back to the bag at first. Oberg stretches, looks at first, throws the plate, 
Swung on pop foul. Back and out of play. Hit the one-one count to DeBrine. Runner goes. Outside ball two and an easy stolen base by Dustin Hookstra. I believe the Knights are four for four stealing today. So two one to DeBrine. Runner is second. Nobody out. James Ober looks at the runner and throws the plate. Swung on, popped up to the right side. Coming in is Krim. Coming out is Bailey. In Bailey, the catcher makes a catch in foul territory. About 30 feet up to the first baseline. So one out. And uh, Josh Cabello to the batter. First pitch at Cavello, up good. and away, ball one. Hey, expect a good one. Oh, yeah. right. oh pitch. Oh, pickoff move to second, but easily back in is uh, Hoekstra standing. Second baseman had moved in and fielded the throw. Okay, Obert throws. Swung on, hit high in the air. Short center field going out to shortstop. Morris makes the catch. A good little ball player there, that shortstop. So two out, still a runner at second. The Knights would desperately like to get in run number 10. Batter Logan Sauer, who uh, I believe got his uh, first base hit of the season, a bunt single last time up. Pickoff moved to second again. Looks to have standing on the bag when the throw arrived. All right, Hooks leads off. Pretty big lead. Second base was standing there. The pitch comes to the plate. Swung on, popped up. Coming in as a little fielder. And he drops the ball. The 10th run scores. So another E7. And Zach Wallace is going to hit for Grant Sonke. Coach DeVisser giving the change to the home plate umpire. And it looks like Nathan Hollander is on deck. The cry rings out from the Ripping Christian dugout. Danny Burgers. Zach Wallace. What a good natured kid. All right. Obert got to the stretch. Throws. Ground ball to the left side. And it's through. Zach Wallace, and the dugout explodes. <laughs> and Sean Hollander will pinch hit. Left hand hitter, bat held high, nice stance. Wallace leads off first. 
Good pitch. Inside, ball one. So the Knights, role players, deaf play, deaf pieces for this roster. Getting some good at bats, good experience, and the whole team having a ball. All right, the 1 0 to Hollander. That gets a strike call in the inside corner. Sean looked it in to the uh, catcher's mitt. So Logan Sauer leading off third. Wallace off first. Pitch to Hollander. Inside, ball two. Good eye shown by the young man has not had that many at bats lifetime. Two out in the top of the fourth, 10 nothing, Ripping Christian. Pitch. Dang, check swing. Outside for ball three. I will give Sean Hollander credit. He looks like a hitter up there. Left hander ready to roll. All right, 3 1 pitch. Down and away. Ball four. But Sean Hollander is on. So Davy barrels with a chance to barrel one up. And we have got a mound conference coming up. We'll stay right here. So. Hats off to head coach John DeVisser in a 10 0 game, getting some role players in that have not had many at bats all, all season. And uh, new pitcher. there will be a new pitcher here. Salvador Figueroa, freshman, will come in to pitch for Oberg. Oberg did a good job through a lot of pitches. Anyway, coach uh, DeVisser. Getting in Zach Wallace, getting in uh, Sean Hollander, and uh, it's good for team morale, team bonding. I can't tell. Do you see Tegan in the Vega? Chrissy, is Tegan here? No, she's on college visits. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was asking about uh, Tegan Chapman. Another uh, bench player, but she's on uh, doing college visits this uh, Easter week break for um, Griffin Christian. I hear that she's visiting LSU. I know she's visited Oklahoma State and loved loved the food anyway. <laughs> Brother Matthew told me that uh, she had one meal and said, I want to go here. <laughs> Stillwater, Oklahoma. So today in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Beautiful. So Krim, a couple more warm up tosses. He's in no hurry. If you're a fan of Major League Baseball, just think a shorter Bartolo Colon. All right, the home plate umpire was uh, make some changes with the official score back at the backstop. And I believe we are ready to go. Not quite. The, the Waterford team at a standstill here. The young Krim does not really look that raring to go, but uh, we'll see what he's got. All right, time is in. David Coolhouse batting. We've got um, the bases loaded. Two out, pitch, down and away, ball one. All right, it's already leading 10 nothing. Hollander at first, Wells at second, Sauer at third. 1 0 to Coolhouse. 
Logan Krim throws down in there, ball two. Jordan Luisi on deck. The 2 0 pitch, way up and leaping up is Matthew Bailey to save the wild pitch. And the count goes to 3 0. And I believe the take sign will be on for Cool House here. If you look to Coach DeVisser, you kind of give him the uh, cool it sign. Pitch, ball four. I take that back. Uh, strike call. Call it a mercy call. All right, 3-1. 3-1 pitch. Swung on, hit high and deep down the left field line. And it is a down. And in comes Sauer. And in comes Wallace. And the throw gets away. And Hollander races to third. And going to second go. is Cool House. Woo. <laughs> Davy Barrels barreled that one up. So we have another change. Uh, I, I'm sorry, another discussion quickly with Coach DeVisser and the home plate umpire. DeVisser nodding his head. I do not have any idea what this was about. He's pointing to Jordan Luisi, who will be batting. Twelve nothing, Ripping Christian. Second and third, two out. Pitch swung on, popped up toward the dugout on the right field line, and out of play. All right, 0-1 to Luisi. He's been stinging the ball in batting practice, I'll tell you that. Okay, the pitch. Outside and diving stop. Good effort by Matthew Bailey behind the plate. Swung on grounded foul to the left side. Mm -hmm. Krim waiting. Pitch. Swung on ground ball. Foul. Down in the left field corner. Good job, Jordan. Foul ball. Nice leg. Ball gets away, back to the backstop. All right, Luisi waiting, the pitch, down and away, knocked down again by Bailey. His catcher, Matthew Bailey, has earned his keep today. All right, pitch from Krim, way up high, ball four. And the bases are again loaded for Luke Crivello. Hey, be aggressive, drive some runs in. Let's go. All right, it's pitch for Cavello. Up and in, ball one.
Cram out of the stretch, throws. Swung on and missed. Luke was uh, ahead, ahead of that one. The different velocities these kids have, it's hard to zero in. Here's the pitch. Down and in. So it's two and one. Base is loaded. Short leads by the runners. Out of a stretch, Krim throws. Outside corner. Strike two. All right. Krim throws 2 2. Swung on. Served over to shortstop. Short Get hop. There. Short hopped, but no play. Knocked down by Morris. Another run scores. Okay, so Garrett Pollard, the courtesy runner at first. And the pitch. Swung on line to right field by Dustin Hookstra coming in the right fielder. Reaches out, and look what I found. Nice running catch to end the inning. So, we'll be back in 30 seconds. Strike one call by Luke Crivello back here at Modesto High School. The Knights, 13 runs, 11 hits. Waterford, no runs, Stay one that. hit, 0-2 count to uh, number one, Damian Balthazar, pinch hitting here for the Wildcats of Waterford. Luke Crivello rocks and fires up and away. The Grim of the hat, high fastball. All right, Luke, ready, delivers on that one, a little bit higher. That one got away from him. Go, Luke, one more, get him. So Luke kind of overthrew a couple there. Balthazar, the hitter, a sophomore, outfielder. The pitcher, Cabello, swung on and missed. Steve Reich, three. Work hard right now. Got to work hard. So Luke's thrown a beautiful game Every so pitch. far today. 
pitch. Swung on a miss. Hey, ball right behind you, Blue. Ball right behind you. Okay, the old one pitch. Outside, nice. ball one. Slider. Pitch. Ah, ball two. Use legs to drive. So Cavello delivers. Swung on. That's hit hard. And that is going to be base hit number two. Bird, bird. Fielded on one hop, knocked down by Van Unen and throws it in. So the second hit of the game for Waterford comes. Uh, bottom of the fifth inning. All right, since we got all throws. Outside, ball one. Brian Martinez is batting. Cleanup hitter, center fielder. Pitch. Down, ball two. All right, Cravello throws. He got the corner with the fastball, so two and one. And hit by pitch. So just checking. You got to bear down now. You got to bear down. Checking Luke's line. He's throwing 60 pitches now. 37 for strikes. Struck out seven. He's walked one. One hit by pitch. Giving up two hits. In uh, three and a third innings. After after a brief conference with Willem Hookstra, Buffalo back behind plate and Luke Cabello back on top of the runner. Go, you got uh, the rubber. Long top of the innings, I Okay. Luke throws. Swung on a miss. Strike one. The Percio, the batter. So Waterford runners are first and second. Nobody out. The old one pitch. There you Strike go. two. Or is it in there? Be high. Pitch Finish now. Finish now. So the infield back all around for uh, the Knights. Pitch. Fun and miss. Strike three. Great conference with William Ho Willem Hookstra. Great response from the starting pitcher, Cavello. Took a little breather. Up. Got his head together. Two down. And it's the pitch. Nice pitch. Fastball strike call. Swung on and missed. All right, finish it here. So two out, two on. Smart. 13 nothing. Ripping Christian. The 0 2 pitch. There it is. Fastball, oh, strike three call. Ooh. And the inning there you go. is yeah, over. They still got one more to go. Stay focused. Uh, this is the fourth inning. So the score at the end of four is 13 to nothing to Rip and Christian. Trying 
The fall season is here, and Game Mic is your source for live audio. Together with MaxPreps.com, we'll be live from high school events all across the country. From the biggest football games, to action on the volleyball court, to flag football. We have your audio needs covered. Broadcasters out there, download Game Mic today and let your voice be heard. What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike. All right. Top of the fifth. Ricky Van Union will lead it off against Krim, who winds and throws. And Ricky swings. It's in no man's land behind first base. Second baseman coming over, and the ball dropped. And Ricky's got a single. Hi, boy, Rick. So that's at least the third pop-up that hit the ground untouched for the Knights today for base hits. And Garrett Pollard checking in as a pinch hitter. Be hitting for Luke Cravello. So Van Unen for Anderson. He doesn't know how to pitch. Yeah, the, the kid pitching right now, I don't know if he's ever pitched before. He did not really know what to do. He went up on the rubber. He was questioning the dugout about, I believe, should I wind up or whatever. But anyway, ball one. So, good Garrett. Getting in the bat. The whole bench has uh, participated now. Here's the pitch. Swung on, grounded slowly toward third. Fielded and thrown across the diamond. A wild throw. Going to third is Van Unen. Pollard just holds at first. And Logan Sauer will be the batter. So Van Unen was hitting in uh, the seventh spot where he was placed being DH for by Noah DeBrime and Ricky got a single. And Josh Cravello's spot was taken by Garrett Pollard with an infield hit. All right, Cram out of the stretch to Sauer. And he throws that one in the dirt. And I think that hit the plate umpire right in the chest protector. One bounce. Coach DeVisser, very considerate of the umpires, making sure the home plate umpire is all right uh, before he lets Logan Sauer back in the box. So, all right, Logan's ready. 1-0 count. Runners leading the pitch. Way up high. Tried to baby. I'm not really sure what kind of pitch this kid has. He may not know. Uh, looks very, very, very inexperienced. All right, the pitch. 
outside. Can of tuna. Two -oh pitch. Strike call. Okay, Logan Sauer, ready, Krim, ready. Runners lead off in the pitch. In the dirt, gets away. And ball four. Coach DeVisser holding uh, Van Union at third. And here comes another conference. As head coach Eric Martinez slowly walks out to the mound. Takes the ball from Krim. And if I can get a number, I'll tell you it's Salvador Figueroa, another freshman. Uh, will be coming into pitch. So we'll be back in 30 seconds. Thank you for tuning in to this live audio broadcast. If you paid to listen to this event or you plan to, we know our broadcasters greatly appreciate that. It may pay for some gas, a hot dog at halftime, and just for their time, providing a great service for those who cannot attend or watch. We're nothing without our broadcasters. So thank you from all of us at Game Mike. The fall season is here. What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike. All right, Grant Sonky steps in. It's one high in the air to the right side, and the ball drops untouched. You're underneath it. Come on. Go through it. Logan Krim, that had started at first base, and came in for a relief appearance back at first. Chasing that one. All right, 0-1 count. Sonky. The pitch. Up and away. Ball one. Figueroa looks to have a little more uh, idea here on the mound. A little more pop on the ball. Steps on the rubber and throws a one-one down on the dirt. Nice block by Matthew Bailey. Clubbed it as it skipped up off the dirt in the uh, left-hand hitter's batter's box. So two and one to Sonky. Base is loaded. Here's the pitch. Strike call. Oh, wow. you know anything close is going to be a strike here late in the game. All right, you got to protect anything close. Let's go, Grant. You're good. So the 2 2 pitch for Figueroa. Swung on and missed strike three. All right. Grant's so mad at himself. 
and Josh Buffalo will get a shot at it. So one out, bases loaded, 13 to nothing for Ripon Christian, top of any number five. This game started late. It was supposed to start at 11.15. Ball outside, 1-0. So I'm not quite sure when the two-hour mark will take effect, like the time limit for these tournament games. Figueroa back on the river, 1-0 count to Buffalo. Van Unen leading up for the pitch. Down in the dirt, another great job sliding over and blocking it. Matthew Bailey. Figueroa now out of the short windup. Fires. Swung out and missed. Breaking ball up high. Buffalo missed it. Swung right through it. So two one count. Swung on line drive. Base hit. Left field. Right over shortstop. Two runs are going to score. On the RBI line drive single by Buffalo. The score bounced to 15 to nothing. And David Coolhouse will be the batter. I'm going to take it upon myself to change his nickname back to Squish. I think he hit better with it. All right, squish against Figueroa. The first pitch, swung on, fouled straight back. It was kind of up in his eyes, but he started Say swinging and couldn't stop. Is it 15 or 14? Let's go, let's go, squish. Okay, 0-1 to Coolhouse. Figueroa, the pitch, swung on a miss, strike two. Ball was also up and in. One out. Runners the first to second. The 0 2 pitch down and away. Ball one. So one and two, David Coolhouse. Top of the fifth. 15 to nothing. Ripping Christian on front of Waterford. Buffalo leading up first. The pitch. Swung on. Hit hard. Hit to center field, but hangs up for the center fielder for the out. And Caden Anderson will bat. So Sauer is second. Buffalo at first. We're going to have a courtesy runner for the catcher Buffalo. And Ricky Van Union doing not double duty, not triple duty, quadruple duty today. Courtesy running again. Hitting, fielding. All right, pitch to Anderson. Swung on, popped up. Back towards the dugout. And it's out of play. Oh, it almost hit his mom. Caden do <laughs> apologizes over his shoulder as he almost hit Mary. Landed in the bleachers up the first baseline. Okay, the 0 1 pitch. Up down and away. And knocked down by Matthew Bailey. Kid's going to sleep good tonight. Pitch. Swung on. Foul ball. Out of play down the right field line. So 
two out, a one-two count on Anderson. Sauer at second, Buffalo at first, 15 to nothing RC, top to fifth. Runners lead off. Figaro out of the stretch. Looks in and delivers. Way up high, ball two. Pitch. Strike three called on the outside corner. So the inning ends. We go to the bottom of the fifth and final inning. Let's go, and finish the score up. is Ruby Christian 15. Waterford, nothing. What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike. What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike.
What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike. What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike. What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike. What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike.
What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike. What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike. What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike. What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike.
What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike.